How's it going, DJ Tech Tools? Ryan here again with an uh, update on the remix or slice to remix text function. Uh, first, just want to say thanks for the support on the blog. Uh, it means a lot, and there's been a lot of good ideas so far. Um, so today, I just wanted to walk you through a few different things. The first is I want to show you uh, deck A and B uh, support. So dicer dicer one will slice to deck C. Dicer two will slice to deck D. Um, the second thing is basically how you can map this with any MIDI controller that you have available. It's a pretty simple change in MIDI pipe. Um, and then the third thing is another idea I had for this concept, and that's taking uh, drum loops from sample packs like Loop Masters and being able to make your own drum kits, um, again, with touch of a button. And it also works really well for uh, like baseline loops that you also get with those sample packs as well. So you can really quickly jam and uh, just try a bunch of different ideas out. So let's see how it goes. All right, so what I'd like to show you first is the deck A and B control. So we've got a drum loop loaded up in a deck A from Loop Masters. And we're just going to hold our capture button and hit the slice. And now my F1 here, I can... So yeah, I can uh, slice up a drum loop and just start playing, banging it out on the Control F1. Um, and the same also goes for uh, Deck B. Uh, I've got a, I've got a synth line loaded up from uh, Loop Masters as well, and we're gonna chop that into our remix Deck D track. So, just to, just to demo how things can work here, I'm gonna quantize that. Got a loop going. I'm gonna switch to my deck D control. We'll sync it. Now I'm no, <laughs> I'm no pro, but. Um, it's it's still a working concept and like it's just a it's just to give you an idea of what you could you know really start to think about what you could do with uh, with all those various sample packs. I mean if you're if you're not familiar with a DAW like Ableton and uh, you're just trying to dip into production a bit, this could be an awesome way to start to learn you know just to start to jam with different uh, notes, bass lines and stuff and yeah just try out some different things besides just playing uh, playing songs. Um, so the next thing I want to show you is how you can set this up with uh, any other MIDI controller. So right now I've just got uh, a machine micro that's in MIDI mode and just going to quickly show you how to adjust the settings in uh, MIDI pipe to get that working. So if we go to our uh, A list here, we know that the dice are sending out um, a note of C5. So all we need to do to get the micro to uh, control control the slice function is to get it to send the same MIDI note. So if we go to our uh, MIDI in here and select the machine micro input and go to the A list here, we can set we can see that sending out a message of C1 on channel one, but we're not we're not getting anything. So what we need to do is take this, go to our key mapper, our very first key mapper in MIDI pipe, and this is the very first um, MIDI note in the sequence. So that's all we need to change is this first note. So we go back to our A list, we can see that sends out C1, and all we need to do is change this to C1, make sure our key out stays at C0 so that it continues down that chain. Um, but as you can see, it's still not working. And the problem, and the reason why is because it's sending it out on channel one, whereas the dicer was sending it out on channels 11 and 14. So what we need to do is go to MIDI pipe, we're gonna go to channel router, and we're gonna add a channel router under our MIDI out, and we're gonna route channel one so that the channel one from the micro goes to channel 11 in, uh, um, in MIDI pipe. So 
We've done that. Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Send channel one to channel 11. And now it's, it's trying to trigger the cells, but we still need that capture modifier. So what we also need to do is go to our controller manager and we can go to the capture modifier and we can just set this to any, any button on our, uh, on our uh, machine micro. So we'll say it's going to be solo. So we just quickly set it to solo for our capture modifier. So we just hold that and go back to the front of our loop, unload that, go back to the front of our loop and hold down that capture button. So that's how you map it to MIDI pipe. Um, it really just involves taking any, any control that you already have, um, going to your A list here in MIDI pipe and finding out what notes it's sending out. And then all you need to do is just reroute it to, um, reroute the, rewrite, reroute the MIDI note, uh, to the right channel. So if it's sending out on channel seven, you need to route it from channel seven to channel 11 to get it to trigger the chain. Um, and then the next thing you need to do is if it's sending out on C1 in our case, or even if it was sending out on, um, by default, it's set to C5. So if it's sending out on C, or let's say even like D4 on our pad, we need to go to D4 and then it'll likely change the key out. So you just need to make sure that you keep the key out changed or keep the key out at C0 and that should, um, should work for you. And then it also just, you also have to map a capture function to somewhere on your uh, MIDI control so that you can uh, capture all the slices in the remix decks. So I hope that answers any questions for you guys um, and helps you guys out. What I'm also going to do is actually upload a, uh, another video that shows you how you can use the control F1. I'll, I'm going to make a simple video that shows just how to use this in MIDI mode and how you can use that capture function uh, as well. So I uh, appreciate all the support and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.